Hey guys how are all dear friends today we re gonna see. What if Naruto was got hidden potential powers during Chunin exam movie. Uzumaki Naruto vs in Yuzuka Kiba. Hi ha ha ha. It's like we've already won, so lucky, right Akamaru. Shut the hell up mutt. In the center of the stage, there stands two boys squaring off, getting ready to fight, the first is a scruffy fear looking kid named Kiba Inuzuka, he is hailed from the famed Inuzuka clan, known for their fierce beast-like Tejustu style, that becomes even more vicious with the addition of their canine partnerships. The second is a shorter boy dressed in a bright orange jumpsuit, with even brighter blonde hair and distinct whisker marks, his name is Naruto Uzumaki, he is an orphan, and graduated dead last in the academy, but despite all this he still is a determined ninja, who never backs down, and isn't afraid of. Fuck. Anything, wait what was that? Naruto always felt that he could push past anything in his life that was in his way, as long as he stayed unwavering and true to his nindo, but today, Naruto had a feeling he was going to need more than that to be victorious, no one had to tell Naruto how bad off he was, he would admit himself that he sucked in a lot of ninja arts, his tejutsu was rough and chaotic. But no matter how much he practiced without a genuine teacher, something that some of the people at the academy were in to point out his flaws and correct his stances, he called to improve on that point much, his jinjutsu was basically hopeless, because no matter how good his control became, his chakra was too large and dense to do anything worthwhile. His ninjutsu was non-existent other than the academy required ones, and the cage bushin, and that's only barely true since he called make a regular clone to save his life, his chakra control was terrible because of his stupidly large supply, any exercise he did know to help with that we're in producing any noticeable results. Naruto would go to the library to learn more things, but the selection of things a genin can read is low, plus he wasn't the biggest fan of books, the only thing Naruto really had going for him was his physical condition, but without a speed-focused training regiment, all he really gains from working out is durability, stamina, and power, which he already had a high amount of, that. Combined with any unorthodox plans he came up with, was really the only way he got ahead in any fight he got in. The day was different though, the usual fountain of endless energy felt more like a stream that was fizzling up, and his chakra control always felt out of control, but now it felt like it was unable to be handled at all, Naruto had a pretty good idea that it was that snake freak seal that was messing up the little he did have going for him. Naruto was already tired from the forest of death as well, to the point where he didn't think he could even outlast Shikamaru in a fight, Naruto could forget about keeping up with Kiba, who always was right behind him and being the most energetic in the academy, Naruto knew he should have fixed his underwhelming skillet sooner. But he didn't have a lot of time to do anything before his sensei put his team in these dumbass exams, he thought he plenty of time to fix his problems after the disaster which was his last seer rank, but not only was he wrong, he was dead wrong, only a couple weeks after wave, and they are signed up for the Chunin exams. Naruto vowed to stop procrastinating and take his training more serious after this, hopefully he won't have to wait to get out of the hospital first. Up in the stands. Naruto. You better not lose to him. Yelled Sakura. Let's see how much you improve thought Kakashi. Naruto A, use Kuranai, sorry Kakashi, but he can't beat Kiba. And Naruto could never beat Kiba said Ino. Hinata was conflicted about whether to cheer for her crush or her teammate. Most of the crowd felt that they already knew what the results were going to be, and they weren't going to be in favor for the blonde ninja. On the floor. Heh, Akamaru stay out of this, I won't need you to defeat this idiot, boasted Kiba. Don't get cocky. Yelled Naruto. The decision by Kiba to not include Akamaru should have made Naruto's confidence sour, and if his only problem was his chakra and energy, it would have, but unfortunately it's not, ever since the fight between his clones and the AIM team, Naruto has been feeling weird, his movements were strange, and his coordination different, it's like something unconsciously about his body was out of whack. But Naruto had no clue what it was, Naruto was sure of one thing though, it was something he could have done without during this fight. It'll be nice, and end this in one punch proclaimed the Inuzuka. TCH. Hey Jekko, the proctor for the preliminary rounds, put one of his his hands up. You may begin. The match was on. Don't get to comfy Naruto, this will be over before you know it, Kiba said, then he got in a crouch on all fours, imitation beast ninja art. Four legs technique. Before Naruto's eyes Kiba's appearance began to grow feral than he already was before, something which seemed akin to Naruto's own changes when he was influenced by the Kyuubis chakra, after Kiba's transformation was complete, he immediately launched towards Naruto in a speedy cold hope to follow, before Naruto knew it, Kiba was in front of him, and in prime position to attack. It's over. Kiba yelled, then he swung his clawed hands at Naruto's face. If you ask Naruto to explain what happened next, he won't have been able to tell you, all he saw was Kiba directly in front of him, getting ready to strike, and the next thing he knew was he reacted and let his instincts take over, and now he was below Kiba, having ducked his swipe at him by a narrow margin. He dodged it. 
thought Kiba and the spectators collectively. Naruto, deciding that it would be best to just go with what feels right, went with the flow and quickly uppercut Kiba in his jaw, Naruto then, taking advantage of the Kiba's helpless state in the air, jumped up and landed a spinning kick into his stomach, launching his opponent back to the other side of the floor. Needless to say everyone was stunned and none more than Naruto himself. Up in the stands. How the hell did Naruto do that, it must be a trick. Said Ino. Please, just because your teammates are lacking don't think that applies to all of us, Sakura shot back, sure, Naruto was annoying to Sakura at times, but he was still her teammate, and they went through a lot together, she would gladly root for him over anybody that wasn't on her team, hell yeah Naruto, make him eat dirt. He has definitely improved way past what I would have expected thought Kakashi, I shouldn't be surprised though, experience is the best teacher a ninja can have. What the hell? Did that lazy ass actually turn out to be a good teacher? Wondered Kurenai, ch, whatever, it hardly matters, once Kiba and Akamaru get serious, Naruto is done for. The rest of the audience shared a look of shock or interest. It seems this match would play out differently than anyone had thought. On the floor. Naruto was just as amazed as everyone else, he never could move like that, and even if he could he didn't think he would have been able pulled it off now, also Naruto felt that unlike the past few days, when he was just reacting instinctively he felt normal, like nothing was was like before his mind was fighting with his body, and now that he was listening to it everything was right in the world. Naruto didn't know why this was happening, but he did know that he didn't have any plans on how he was going to win before, so he would do what he did best. Wing it. Ugh. Lucky hit it won't happen again, Kiba called out as he was getting up off the floor, he was noticeably wiping his mouth of blood, revealing just how hard he had been hit, Akamaru. Arc. Akamaru jumped at Naruto at the same time Kiba did, hoping to overwhelm any fluke sense of skill that Naruto just showed, they first started with a flurry of quick pounces, then started to come at Naruto with a barrage of hit and run attacks, but Naruto, to the surprise of absolutely everyone, avoided all solid connects, Kiba led up from his onslaught and backed away. It'll admit it to you Naruto, you sure got better, but this is it. It ends now. Kiba said, pulling two red pills from his pocket, he gave one pill to Akamaru, and he ate the second one, Akamaru turned an inflamed shade of red, then jumped on Kiba's back. Beast effect ninjutsu. Beast human bushin. Now, where previously only one Kiba and his dog was, there was two Kibas, one on the other's back. Gitsuga. Both Kibas suddenly launched themselves at Naruto, twirling at impossible speeds, to Naruto it seemed like it was two miniature whirlwinds hurtling towards him, Naruto wasn't deterred though, he didn't know how far his new instinctive skills could take him, but he would keep pushing, just before the attacks hit him, Naruto pushed himself into the air, narrowly avoiding their claws. The Fang duo didn't stop though, seeing a prime opportunity to attack, while Naruto was stuck in the air, Naruto, seeing Kiba and Akamaru turning around to hit him again, flipped and twisted his body in the air at an angle, allowing him to maneuver between them without getting hit. Kiba and Akamaru landed back on the other side of the arena. Whatever, so you can do fancy moves, it doesn't matter, you can't keep this up forever taunted Kiba, privately, though he won't admit it, he was a little put off by just how capable Naruto was turning out to be. Naruto knew he was right he didn't perfectly avoid the last attack, his jumpsuit was ripped and some of his skin scratched, also since he was running on fumes, the injuries would only get worse, Naruto needed to come up with a plan, which made him thankful that he had a few things he used for pranks in his pouch. I didn't think I would have to use these, but I guess if the shoe fits, Naruto said, pulling out a stink bomb, and since you have such a sensitive nose, I guess the shoe is pretty snug right about now. Naruto reared his arm back, with the key to his victory in the palm of his hand. Beat this Kiba. Shouted Naruto, then he threw the bomb across the arena. And way over Kiba, with it only stopping its flight when it burst on the floor by the wall behind him. The entire room silently stared at the, the rising cloud of gas in the corner. He, oops. Idiot was the single thought shared by everyone. Ah, ha 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 ha. Kiba started laughing, with tears in his eyes, ha of course only you could fuck up that bad Naruto. Up in the stands. To mess up an advantage that bad, Kurenai said to herself, I guess Kakashi cold make the idiot any smarter. Uh Naruto, why are you like this? Moaned Sakura with her face covered by her hands. I guess a loser will always be a loser, said Ino, she turned towards Shikamaru, only to see him lying down getting ready for a nap, aren't you going to watch the rest of the match? No point, it's obvious how this is going to turn out. I guess it does seem like Kiba has this one in the bag. No, it's actually the opposite. What? What would make you say that? Sai Shikamaru turned away from her, it's too troublesome to explain. On the floor. Kiba finally calmed down from his laughing fit and got back in crouching position to attack again. Oh man, it's so over for you, you just blew your only chance to win, chuckled Kiba. I'm not done yet, I still have a few more, retorted Naruto. 
it doesn't matter how many you have, you won't be able to touch me with them, and with that Kiba and Akamaru resumed their attack, Jitsuga. What followed was the most extreme game of dodgeball ever played, Naruto dodging the canine duo, and Kiba and Akamaru dodging the stink bombs, allowing them all to hit the ground well away from where they were. the stink bombs all landed on the outer parts of the arena, leaving Kiba with plenty of room to work with, Naruto eventually ran out of bombs, only having about a dozen of them. Bringing their little game to an end, he jumped back a little to give himself some breathing room, he was visibly taking harder and longer breaths. If I can't affect your smell, then I will try your sight, said Naruto, he then pulled out his only smoke bomb and threw it on the ground, covering the entire middle of the floor with smoke. Up in the stands. This was the guy that I was afraid would beat Kiba, what a joke, thought Kurenai, don't tell me he forgot about Kiba's strong sense of smell, he was just trying to capitalize on it a second ago. On the floor. Idiot did you forget my senses are better than the average nin, there is no way you can hide from me in this smoke, I will just sniff you out, said Kiba, he then started sniffing the air to pinpoint Naruto's location, too easy, Jitsuga. Kiba launched in the smoke with Akamaru in the direction of Naruto and got a direct hit, after scoring a couple more blows, they tossed him up in the air, then drilled his body back into the earth, leaving a slight indent into it. As the smoke started to clear up all that anyone could see was Naruto seemingly unconscious at the bottom of a small crater. Proctor, call the match, he won't be getting up anytime soon, said Kiba. Haid examined Naruto's body for a few seconds, then he put his hands up, winner by Nako. Over here mutt boy. Cried Naruto, appearing out of nowhere, but before Kiba could turn and look at him, Naruto slid underneath him and kicked his feet off the ground, just as the body in the crater puffed into smoke. Then a then another Naruto appeared and kicked Kiba away while he was in mid-fall, Ru, then two more appeared where Kiba was thrown and kicked him upwards, too. Finally a final Naruto cam and jumped above Kiba and delivered a spinning axe kick to his head, sending Kiba shooting towards the ground, Uzumaki Renden. Kiba was now the one that was at the bottom of his own crater, but this time the victim was actually unconscious. Bad doggy, taunted Naruto, standing over Kiba's immobile body. Up in the stands. I can't believe it, voiced Kurenai, Kakashi's brat actually won. You will learn quickly that Naruto is never one to go down easy Kakashi thought, even through the mask there was obvious pride on his face. Yeah Naruto, I knew you could do it. Yelled Sakura Don to the floor. Wait hold up. I don't get it, Kiba should have been able to smell out Naruto, right? The smoke shouldn't have blocked his nose, if it could, then he would have known earlier, questioned Ino. Sigh, that was what I was trying to say earlier, Naruto didn't miss his throw with his stink bombs, not the first or any of the ones after, what he was doing was creating zones on the floor where Kiba won't be able to smell anything but the odor from his bombs, so when he covered the arena in smoke, he was able to play several clones in those areas without Kiba ever knowing. Naruto must have done a Kawarimi with a clone after Kiba hit him with his attack, one switched he would be able to carry out his own retaliation without Kiba being prepared for it, who knew Naruto could have done something that smart, but I guess if you look at the pranks he used to do, it isn't that surprising. Ino gave Shikamaru a surprised look, before changing to one of contemplation. I guess even Naruto improved after the academy. On the floor. Winner by knockout, Yuzumaki Naruto. Announced Hayate. Naruto was feeling very proud of himself at the moment, while he was tired from Kiba's assault and the use of his clone something that would have never happened if his chakra was normal Naruto felt that he did better than he himself would have expected, he never fought that well in his entire life, but now in what seemed like hours, his skill increased by an immense amount. And Naruto still had no idea how it happened, well, he did have a theory, but he needed some time to test it when he was alone, as of right now, he was content to revel in his unlikely victory. Look how much you've grown Naruto, thought a proud Hokage. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
His own cousin, Naruto, would be the first to tell you he was lucky in the prelims, with the exception of Ino, Sakura, and that random guy Sasuke faced. If he had to fight anyone else, Naruto was pretty sure he would have lost, even with his newfound skills. Luckily he got Kiba, a Tajutsu user slash the only skill Naruto was proficient in. Fortunately he now has an entire month to train before his match with the Rookie of the Year. Naruto finally arrived at his destination, training ground 9, a place not too many people really came to because of how close it was to the forest of death, in fact, you could actually see training ground 44 looming in the background, Naruto knew about this place from his younger days, when he used to find places to hide from the stairs of the villagers, and later on because of his pranks. The Anbu, it was a wide grassy clearing that had a stream running through it, the grounds are also surrounded by trees you would commonly find around Konoha. Naruto walked up to the stream and thought that it would be the perfect place to start his training, but first. Page Bushin no Jutsu. Poof. His theory. Out of the smoke appeared one perfect clone of Naruto, okay, I want you to go down the stream and see where it ends up, Naruto commanded his clone, geez, there was no need to tell me idiot responded the clone, and with that it ran off, God damn it! why am I so annoying as a clone, after a couple minutes of standing there Naruto suddenly jumped up, stupid ass clone. How the hell did you not an entire waterfall before you fell off the cliff, you should have at least heard it. Yelled Naruto, it was only after a few seconds of fuming did he realize what had just happened, yes. It worked, and even better than Naruto thought it would, he, at first, just assumed that he would just get a vague feeling or some kind of intuition, but nope, he actually gets the entire experience, Naruto was salivating just thinking of all the ways he could train using this, but had to stop when he remembered he had another problem. Page Bushin no just do. Poof. Shit big problem, he could only make a hundred clones before he became swamped, for comparison, when he first learned the jutsu, he could easily make a thousand clones without being close to tired, sadly, there was nothing he could do about his dilemma at the moment, so there was no sense of crying about it now, he could just get started. Then go and ask his sensei later if he knew how to remove this dumb seal, at the moment though, he only had to figure out what he could work on right there, Naruto didn't think he could work on his control, until he had the seal removed, so that was out, he didn't even know where to start when it came to Jutsu so that's out as well, it seems he would just have to improve on what he knows. And hopefully try to incorporate other things later. Okay I want 60 clones to break off and go over there, once there I want 40 of you to pair off and fight with each other, then I want the rest of the 20 clones to pick a fight to watch, that should give us different perspectives on the way we fight, I want the last 40 clones I didn't mention to work on their shuriken and kunai proficiency. Alright. After the clones left to do whatever they were doing, Naruto decided to work on his physical body by running and doing some exercises, nothing too hard though, he didn't know what awesome plans his sensei had for him, after the hour was up, Naruto figured he did enough for the day and left his clones to do whatever they were doing while he searched for Kakashi sensei. On his way back to the village, he realized that he probably would be too busy training to do anything else in the next month, so Naruto decided to get some things he was planning to get done out of the way first. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
nothing, forget it, I guess it was too much to expect that everything about you improved since we were in the academy, Eno said seeing Naruto's confusion, speaking of, good job on finally shutting that mutt's mouth, he was always a little bit more annoying than you, not by that much, but still. Thanks, I really appreciate it, Naruto droned, can I have my flowers now? Of course, silly me, Eno said with a very convincing smile, what were you looking for? Um, I'm not really sure, Naruto said, rubbing the back of his head, I only heard that Yar supposed to bring flowers, I never actually visited anyone in the hospital before. No problems, it was my fault for thinking you would know anyway, I have the perfect kind of flowers for you to get. How does this place get any customers while Yar here? Obviously amazing looks and sparkling personality, Ino answered while striking a pose with her hands on her hips. Naruto just stared at her unblinkingly, you know for a person who works at a flower shop, you have remarkably not worked to get me any flowers since I've been here. Whatever, Ino then went to a shelf and grabbed a pot of purple flowers, these are lavender roses, I'm sure Hinata would love these. Finally, Naruto breathed out, how much? Oh no no, these are free of charge, Ino said, maybe I would make you pay if they were for you, but I'm fine with letting you have these if it's for someone I like. Naruto respectfully ignored the last part for the fact that he was getting the flowers for free, he went up to the checkout stand to get the flowers, he also received a customary piece of paper that tells you how to care for them, before he left, Ino went over to a group of blue flowers and plucked one without its stem, then she came back over to where Naruto was. Here's another one that's on the house, Ino then stuck the blue flower on the top of Naruto's head, oh, it compliments yo so well, I think you should keep this look, it makes you look less wild and more, not you. Naruto's patience was wearing thin, and he decided to leave before the small amount he had ran out, as Naruto was walking out the door, a thought came to him that made him smile, he stopped and turned back around to Ino. You know what you're right, I think I should keep this, Naruto said, confusing Ino, M. Sasuke and Sakura will ask about it, and I will be so happy to tell them that you thought it would make me look good. Naruto then ran out the shop, while Ino face was in the middle of changing from confusion to anger. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Naruto-san I have accepted to be your teacher for the month and I will beat out all that foolishness out of you that you call skill, Ibisu said with a touch of unkindness. I'm on Kakashi sensei can't you find anyone else to teach me other than this pervert, besides I beat him once already, complained Naruto. Pervert. Kakashi said in a question tone. But before Naruto could answer, Ibisu clamped his hands over Naruto's mouth and started pulling him away, nothing, he is delusional, you will have your student back, properly taught, by the end of the month, and with that he pulled Naruto away. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Naruto said to himself. Naruto thought to himself that this might be a good change in events. Because not only did this guy reverse a San and seal, but he also has a summoning contract, which is usually only held by prominent shinobi. Okay I accept your training, but first you have to tell me who you are. No way am I accepting to do anything with some unknown pervert. Ahaha. Who am I, you ask? The man suddenly jumped on top of the previously forgotten toad and started to do a kabuki dance, I am the sage of Mount Mayaboku. The prophet of toads. Sensei of the legendary yellow flash. Super pimp of fire. And most importantly, the rider of the Icha Icha series, Jiraiya of the Sanin. Yo, M. Gamakichi, you got any snacks, said a small orange frog. Ooh it. Finally Naruto groaned, for the past three days Jiraiya had been teaching Naruto the summoning jutsu, Naruto had been having some difficulty with it, his chakra control, or more aptly his lack of it, didn't leave him with the ability to concentrate and direct his chakra that much, the feat would have taken much longer than three days, if Naruto didn't have his clones training as well. Flashback. The moment Naruto left the pervert the first day, he rushed to training ground 9 to make more clones, once he got there, he dispelled all the previously working clones, which caused a brief moment of confusion, with all the images flashing through his head, Naruto shook his head and made a cross shape with his fingers. Page Bushin no Jutsu. Boof hell ya. Yeah. Naruto managed to make 2000 clones this time, and he still had chakra to spare, Naruto didn't want to get close to his maximum amount, because he still had to operate during the day, and he might need his chakra for something, Naruto examined his copies for a moment, pondering what to do with them, um, okay, I want the same groups as last time, but 10 times the amount. For the 1000 left over, I want you to work on chakra control by grabbing leaves and sitting on water or tree branches and doing the leaf concentration exercise, oh and those on the branches, I want you to be sitting on the bottom of it, alright, let's go. The crowd of blondes just mumbled their agreements and left, some not saying anything at all, bastards, at least show some enthusiasm, Naruto said, with a tick mark, Naruto then started to work on his physical body, doing a more extreme version of what he did that morning, after a few hours Naruto stopped, finally reaching his limit. If I keep this up I should be able to refine my strength and skills, but I won't be able to do anything new, mused Naruto, suddenly getting an idea where to start, Naruto raced off towards the village. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
a little earlier, way across town, the original Naruto was running towards the library, the library was split into three parts, and each one had different requirements to get into, the first part was the civilian section, and it was open to all citizens of the leaf, the second part was the normal shinobi section, you had to be at least a genin to have access to it. The final part was the more restricted shinobi section, and you had to be tuned in and above to read anything in it, Naruto knew most of what he would be looking for would be in the last section, but that wasn't a problem for him, the whole library is watched by three chunin, who sit at a desk in the middle of the front area, for Naruto, who has painted the Hokage monument in broad daylight. And sneaked into the Hokage's office, this was basically nothing. Naruto was scanning all the shelves for anything of interest, and whatever caught his eyes he threw on a table, he already amassed some books on elemental affinity, DA rank jutsus, chakra control exercises, and basic sealing, he had an interest in sealing because of obvious impact they have had on his life, once he had all the books he wanted. He took a bunch of empty scrolls out his pocket and started the next step. Page Bushin no jutsu. Boof Naruto made one clone for each thing he picked up, alright, I want each of you to pick something and copy it into a scroll, when you're done, take it to our house and dispel yourself, how about you, shut the hell up and do it yourself. Poof Naruto threw a scroll at the rude clone's face, anyone else, good, Naruto quickly made another clone to replace the last one, and left the library. Flashback. Since then Naruto incorporated everything he learned into his training, this allowed him to discover his strong affinity for wind and slight affinity for fire, Naruto also started learning some more jutsus and noticed how much easier it was to execute the ones that he had an affinity for, Naruto already made some headway on the leaf cutting exercise. But he had hit a plateau and needed some help with that, strangely enough the exercises for fire affinity were easier than the ones for wind, Naruto also started wearing the weighted bands once he got them, and also added more running to his set of physical workouts to do in the morning, all this and what he was doing before. Is what Naruto's clones have been working on every day while Naruto was training with Jiraiya. The first thing Jiraiya did was let Naruto sign the toad summoning contract, after Naruto did that, he was told to try to summon any size toad he could, unsurprisingly for Jiraiya, Naruto could only summon tadpoles, and quickly worked himself into exhaustion trying to do more, when that happened, most of the times Naruto would be taught tactics and strategies well whenever Jiraiya wasn't out doing research, Jiraiya knew that summoning would take a lot out of Naruto, so he didn't want to start any more training until he was finished with that, shockingly enough to him though, Naruto was able to summon a toad in three days, because of his liberal use of shadow clones, something which Jiraiya never ran into before. Alright kid, you did a good job, but at the rate you are going now, you are never going to summon the boss, said the toad sage, Jiraiya was bluffing, he fully believed that by the end of the month, Naruto would have a good shot at being able to finally get it, but he wanted to move on to other stuff, so we are going to try something different. What do you mean pervy sage? wondered Naruto. Listen up, have you ever felt that you had two kinds of chakra in you? Naruto knew exactly what Jiraiya was talking about, the red chakra that seems to comes out of nowhere, he remembers using it during his fight with Haku, as well as when he faced the snake freak, it made him way stronger, so strong he could stop a giant felt weird, more thicker, and more powerful than his regular chakra, also more wild, Naruto already had a good idea what it was. You mean the Kaibas chakra? Jiraiya looked shocked for a moment, before answering, yeah that's exactly what it is, I guess you are smarter than you look, an indignant Naruto was about to complain, but the Sanin kept talking, I know that you have used the power before, but calling upon it consciously is different, if you are able to learn how to do that, you will always have something up your sleeves for when things go left. Yeah, I guess I see Ak. Naruto didn't get to finish because Jiraiya suddenly punched him in his gut hard, rendering him unconscious. If he can only bring up the Kaibas chakra when under distress or when in extreme danger, the only way for him to learn how to do it actively is for him to remember how it feels, concluded Jiraiya, forgive me Minato for what I am about to do, he then picked up Naruto and started walking away. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
but then he saw how spiky and wet they were and figured that would be a terrible idea, he would have tried to summon a toad or even some clones, but he was all juiced out from training, that fucking bastard. If I survive this I am going to kill that pervert. Damn, Naruto didn't know how he would survive this, after all the close calls Naruto had, he finally gets done in by his teacher, hell no. I don't care if I am out of energy I'm not going to die here. Proclaimed Naruto, he then bit his finger and did the seals for the summoning jutsu, Naruto started trying to push whatever chakra he had left, closing his eyes from the strain, all of a sudden he didn't feel the wind whipping past his face, or the sensation of falling. Naruto opened his eyes and found himself in a dark murky sewer, when he looked around, he realized it was more of a flooded building or industrial factory than a sewer, Naruto felt a familiar feeling in his gut, pulling him towards the direction of one of the doorways, Naruto followed this feeling through halls and turns, until he came upon a large chamber. That had a giant gate with a seal on the middle of it. So my esteemed warden finally comes to visit me, a deep rumbling voice sounded from behind the gate, pulsing the water out to the direction of Naruto. Naruto knew immediately what it was, Kayubi. No, it's the other giant being in your stomach, the now identified Kayubi sarcastically said. Naruto developed a tick mark after that remark and lost some of the reservations he might have gained from the fact he was facing such a massive beast, shut the hell up for a why did you bring me here anyway? Cause your dumb ass was about to get us killed, grumbled out the Kayubi. 1. I wasn't about to do anything, I was thrown off a cliff, too, what do you mean us, ooh oh, hey, hey, I get it now, Naruto said, finally thinking about what the biju said, if I die, you die huh, Naruto sat there and pondered for a while, before nodding his head to something he apparently figured out, well I guess that means only one thing. The Kayubi thinking he knew the depths of all humans, thought that he had Naruto pinned too, like any other mortal he would seek to have the Kayubi under his thumb and use his power for his own purpose, the Kayubi would rather die than be under someone's control again, luckily it turned out that his container was one step ahead of him and got himself thrown off a cliff. The tailed beast only brought him down here to give him a chance to honor his father's words, even if he didn't believe them, but it seems this human is just as he thought, now that he found out the lack of control the Biju actually has over him, he will seek to put the Kayubi in submission. We'll be working together from here on out, declared Naruto. But thought the Kayubi, eyes wide, there is no way he heard that right, what did you say kid? I said that we are partners, I don't want to die, and I am pretty sure you don't want to die, so if our lives depend on protecting my body, it is better for us to work together than to be against each other, Naruto clarified, plus I would rather have a good relationship with a big ass fox that's living inside of my body. Drrr. That makes no sense, I attacked your village I am the reason you have no parents, I am the reason everyone despises you, why would you try to help me, what makes you so sure that I won't just kill you, then go back and destroy your village. Naruto, completely misunderstanding the part about his parents, confidently responded because I get it, all I have been told all my life is that you're a monster, the same thing was said about me, I know that sometimes the people that are despised the most don't really deserve it, I think it would be better to hold my reservations about you until I see you actually did something wrong. And if it turns out everything everyone said about you is true and you are just a big evil fox, Naruto grinned at him, then I'll find a way to finish what the fourth Hokage started myself, Naruto finished with a determined smirk. The Kayubi was quiet for a moment before he started chuckling, I guess you're not as stupid as I thought, though you are still missing a few marbles for even thinking about threatening me. Heh, I never said it would be easy Naruto said, but I never backed down from anything. Yeah, whatever, puffed out Kurama, it'll allow some access to my chakra, so you dunny end up as a bloody smear. Gee thanks furball. But that, you have overstayed your welcome, growled out the Kayubi, also open up a history book sometime, the fourth Hokage didn't start anything. Huh? Naruto's eyes snapped open, and he found himself once again falling down the chasm, Naruto wasn't scared this time though, he could feel chakra running though him that didn't belong to him, but was his at the same time, he pushed the chakra towards his still outstretched hand, knowing it would be more than enough than what he needed. Summoning just to. Poof. Huh, what? Where the hell am I? Jiraiya. Naruto was now standing on top of a humongous toad dressed in what seemed to be a Yakuza uniform. Hey who's that on my head? The toad called out. Naruto ran down to the summon's nose so it could see him, I was, Naruto Uzumaki, your new summoner, answered Naruto. The toad laughed there is no way a shrimp like you could summon me. Ha. Huh. Naruto was starting to get pissed off, I was the one who summoned you, you piece of shit toad. The summon stopped laughing and looked at Naruto for a long time before seemingly confirming something, alright then I guess I could make you my underling. Um, alright, said Naruto, not really knowing what was happening, underling. Is that how all summoning contracts work? 
Now to initiate someone into the family I would usually see if they can hold their sake good enough to impress me, but since you are probably too young for that, I have to come up with something new, the toad sat there for a moment, hmm, how about this, you get on my back, then I try to shake you off, if you can stay on till sunset, then you can join the family. Naruto didn't like the sound of that, the only way he could stay on long enough was for him to use chakra, and therein lies the problem. He cold use Kurama's chakra because he cold control it, he also cold use his because that was just starting to replenish and was still at a low amount, Naruto was just about to humbly reques tear eat. Beg for the first test. When the toad suddenly shot out of the chasm. Alright. Let's see if you got what it takes, the giant amphibian said, by the way, I am the toad boss summons, Gamma Bunta, and don't you forget it runt, and with that he started jumping and flailing around, trying to shake Naruto off. Naruto was hanging for dear life on the back of Gamma Bunta, turning greener and greener every passing moment, Naruto didn't think he would be able to survive until the end of this test, much less hang on for the entire time, but he isn't Naruto Uzumaki for nothing, the one thing he never does is gives up. Boing boing. Naruto never questioned his nindo so hard in his life, ooh, I'm never going to forgive that damn pervert. Boing. 00000000000000000000000. Naruto woke up hours later to a white ceiling, groaning, he sat up and looked around and recognized the place he was currently at as the hospital, Naruto felt a presence next to him and turned to meet a pair of black eyes, staring right back at him. So, you're finally awake huh? Naruto looked at the rest of the body, while matching voice to a person in his head, and he realized that Shikamaru was in his room. Shikamaru questioned Naruto, why are you here? I was visiting Choji when I heard that you were in the hospital too, so I decided to visit you, the Nara responded. Naruto tried to ignore the way his chest warmed up at the thought of Shikamaru coming to see him, Naruto never really thought that he and the other genin were that close. Like Choji, I didn't really think you are the type to have girls visit him. Naruto was about to retort with his own remark, but thought about something he just noticed, wait Choji is still in the hospital. I didn't think his injuries were that serious. They weren't, Choji ate too much and ended up landing himself in the hospital again, Shikamaru explained with a sigh. Oh, Shold figured, Naruto then noticed a fruit basket sitting on the edge of his bed. Shikamaru, seeing where Naruto was looking, started talking, I originally brought that for Choji, but the nurse said it wasn't good for him to have anything to eat, so I thought I might as well give it to you. Gee, thanks deadpan Naruto, trying to ignore the warm feeling that popped up again, you know what we should do, eat this in front of Chaja's face. Sigh let's go, I don't have anything else to do. Naruto got up and got dressed, he then grabbed the fruit basket and headed into the hallway with Shikamaru, on the way to Chaja's room, Naruto got a cold feeling near his gut, and it was directing him to another part of the hospital, he darted off to find the source of the chill, with a surprised Shikamaru following behind. Naruto, what's gotten into you? Spoke Shikamaru. I'm not sure, but if you follow me, you'll probably find out. How troublesome, Shikamaru complained, but he still followed. 00000000000000000000. Well, that was intense, Shikamaru said, rolling his neck. Yeah, you're telling me, responded Naruto listlessly, Shikamaru gave him a curious look, but thankfully didn't say anything as they were approaching Chaja's room, Shikamaru slid open the door and was immediately verbally attacked by a feisty blonde girl. Where the hell were you? and what took you so long? And don't you know how to knock? Scolded Ino. Well we ran into an unplanned situation with a foreign ninja, and before that I was visiting Naruto pacified Shikamaru. Naruto. Repeated Ino with confusion, Hess in the hospital. What's wrong with him? I just saw him a couple days ago and he looked fine. Shikamaru shaking his head in annoyance, go ask him yourself Shikamaru said, speaking of, Choji. You mind if Naruto comes in? Shikamaru asked Choji, who was munching on some chips Ino gave him on his bed. Munch munch that's cool munch munch I don't mind Choji affirmed. Alright Naruto, he said you can come and called Shikamaru, Naruto opened the door and walked in while cleaning his ear with a finger. Am Ino, I'm sure the whole building could hear you screaming, Naruto then turned to Shikamaru, I feel sorry for you, at least with Sasuke on our team, Sakura pretends that she is nice, no luck for you with Ino. Crack Ino cracked her knuckles with her fist in her palm and smiled sweetly at Naruto, what's that supposed to mean huh? Naruto wisely took a step back, he, oh nothing, he said with his hands up in a placating motion. Are you sure? You look like you still would like a few more days at the hospital. No I'm perfectly fine, ah uh, hey Choji, hope you feel better, see you guys later, bye. Naruto made a quick escape, not wanting to risk the wrath of the blonde girl. Man he thought, there have been too many violent people in my life recently, I'm seriously considering a change in careers. 
Now that Naruto was away from the others, he started to think back to the meeting he had with Gara, a person who was just like him, but also completely different, he shuddered at the thought, not because he was scared, but because of the thought that this was how he could have ended up, thankfully, Kanoha was still a good village to live in overall. He wouldn't have been so lucky in some of the other hidden villages, if rumors are to be believed. Naruto was walking down the hallway thinking about Gara and the Kayubi when he was thrown out his thoughts by crashing into a small girl and accidentally sending her crashing into the ground. Oops, that was my fault, I'm very sorry, are you okay? Asked Naruto, stretching out his hand to help the girl up. The girl ignored the hand and got up off the ground by herself, thanks, but no thanks, I can help myself, she said evenly, now that the girl was off of the ground, Naruto had a good look at what she looked like, she was a very small petite girl, with long black hair, she had a very familiar face, and big white pupil-less eyes which signified the Hyuga clan, Naruto stared at her for a moment. Which quickly agitated her, why are you staring at me? She demanded. It's just that, you are so adorable, gushed Naruto, you're like a plushy version of a real ninja. Naruto decided to have a little fun with her, not only did she reject his offer for help, but he never did like uptight people. The Hyuga girl turned a little red from anger and closed her eyes in an attempt to control her temper, don't call me adorable or plushy, and I am a real ninja, she growled out. This just made Naruto gush harder, did you just growl? Haha <laughs> look at you playing shinobi, where's your parents at little girl? Are you lost? The girl could feel her grasp on her emotion slipping, she clenched her fist at her side to rein back her oncoming explosion, do you know who you are talking to, she said with slightly puffed cheeks, you would apologize if you knew what was good for you. I just want to help find your parents, do they know where you are? Tease Naruto, here take my hands, I'll walk you home. Stop treating me like a child, treat me with respect. She demanded, stomping a foot on the ground, she was losing her composure and won't last much longer. I don't even know who you are little girl. Don't call me that. I am not little. The Hyuga proclaimed, her voice was steadily raising higher and higher. Yes you are, but don't worry all kids are small when they're seven, Naruto said, trying to reassure her. I'm fifteen. That surprised Naruto, true, he purposefully overshot her age, but he didn't think she was that old. Wow. Okay then, never mind, you're not a little girl then, Naruto agreed, you're a midget. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. She yelled out and launched herself at Naruto, a flurry of jabs later, Naruto was now lying on the floor twitching. HMPH, know your place next time, the girl said walking away. Uh, man that girl has an anger problem, Naruto groaned out, hello. Is there any nurses around? I would like to extend my stay. 00000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Naruto said shocked. Hinata chuckled again, yeah, she's normally cool-headed, but when it comes to her size she starts to become sensitive. Naruto started unconsciously rubbing the welts he just got, it took him a while to find a way up from the floor, you're telling me. Why do you ask, Naruto? Well I just met her in the hallway, and when I first met her, I definitely saw how cool she was, but I found out the other part you mentioned the hard way, Naruto said wincing. Hinata smiled at him, she's not likely to forget that for some time too, not too many people would say something like that to her, so she remembers the few that do, Hinata didn't think that was such a bad thing, usually her sister only expresses herself when they were alone together, the way they were raised, and the expectations put on Hanabi, as the air causes her to be stoked most of the time. Any time she can shed that weight and show her emotions freely, Hinata would be happy, even if, unfortunately it's at the expense of Naruto. Sorry Naruto-kun. Huh? Why are you apologizing? 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Naruto also had assigned clones to learn how to do fire and and win Jutsus with as few seals as possible, something which Naruto found out was possible from Iro Senen's teachings. Naruto chakra control increased day by day, which allowed him to improve all across the board, but medical ninjutsu and jinjutsu was still improbable for him after the first day of his new lessons with his sensei. Naruto decided to add a new group of clones that would only work on his calligraphy for seals, as a result his handwriting was unrecognizable from his academy days, Naruto was even on the final part of his fire affinity training, which he found surprising considering it wasn't even his main element, the only setbacks he had during training strangely enough was in his wind affinity training which he was supposed to have a strong affinity for, he was still on the first exercise, and he still didn't have a clue on how to complete it, Naruto had done many things with a leaf, even some things that could be passed off as a tear down the middle, but he was never able to get his chakra to cleanly cut through the leaf. Naruto already made up his mind to find help if he didn't get any results in the next few days. The one lesson Naruto learned best from all this was that shadow clones were truly bullshit, he could get hours and hours of experience in anything he wanted, and because they were clones, he didn't have to worry about harming himself, it turns out that Mizuki was even a better teacher than Aruka. Currently Naruto was trying out a new training routine that he was planning on doing once every week, Naruto was standing in the center of about 100 clones that were standing in a wide circle around him, all the clones were standing in fighting position, ready to launch off their feet in a moment's notice, the original Naruto cracked his neck and rotated his arms before he got in a similar position as his clones, let's go. One by one each clone started to run towards Naruto and tried to attack him, Naruto would block, parry, counter, or dodge every hit, one clone would come with an overhead flying kick, and Naruto would spin his body in a way where it would miss and come around with a kick of his own, another comes from behind Naruto, trying to attempt to attack at a blind spot. But before a hit could land Naruto flips over the clone, putting one hand on the clone's back to help the maneuver, Naruto gripped the clone's shirt and the process of the flip and threw the clone at another one who was preparing to do a jutsu, dispelling both of them, the clone switched up and started attacking in twos, making Naruto have to work harder than before. From an outsider's perspective it was clear that the original was faster than the army of clones by a good amount, despite that Naruto was starting to get glancing blows and cuts, a clone, seeing that Naruto was wearing down, decided to finish it in one blow, the clone quickly made a bird seal, wind style. Air bullets. Three balls of pressurized air shot out of the clone's mouth towards his maker, Naruto dispatched the clone he was fighting and tuned towards the incoming projectiles while going through seals, earth style. Mud wall. A portion of the ground shot up to intercept the bullets of air, and when they collided, they exploded into rubble and debris, covering the area with rocks and smoke, Naruto did a simple wind just to clear the smoke and paused at what he saw next, all of the clones which were left, which was about 20-something, were in the air facing Naruto, flashing through the same just Wind style. Drilling air bullets. They cried in unison, then a countless number of expelled air balls filled the air, and they were all headed for Naruto at a frightening speed. Boom. A large explosion happened in the middle of the field, the resounding noise resonating through the air, the smoke from the combined blast took several moments to clear by itself, all of the clones waiting watching the impact point without lowering their guards, when it was visible enough for them to see, they peered in, now where once the original stood, there was just a big crater. That looked as if multiple bombs were set off to dig it, and at the very bottom of the hole there was one small man-sized hole, partially hidden by dirt and rocks. But the he one of the clones said, but before it could finish it was interrupted by a loud voice. Over here idiots. Said a figure that launched in the air from the forest, the airborne ninja, made a tiger seal and inhaled widely, fire style. Great fireball jutsu. Exhale. The massive orb of roaring flames burst out of Naruto's mouth, flying towards where the clones were gathered, before they could move the attack hit the clones. Uwam. Erupting into a magnificent explosion of fire, Naruto landed in a crouch on the ground, breathing hard from the exertion of his latest activity, he stood up from the ground, brilliant crimson light bathing him, and started to stretch. You got all that breathed out Naruto towards the treetops of a few trees, up in the tree, several clones sitting on branches, gave Naruto the thumbs up. Naruto had thought of the idea for the exercise he was currently using, after trying to run a couple of his laps with the weights off, he ended up tripping countless times and crashed into a couple trees, Naruto was then able to figure out that he did successfully gain more speed, it was just that he wasn't used to moving at them. He knew that this would hinder him if he ever decided to take off his weights in a fight and decided that he needed a way to get used to going fast and he came up with the one against a hundred exercise, he would summon a hundred clones while he had weights on, then he would take the weights off and fight against all of them, he also had a couple clones observing the entire thing from afar. Naruto planned to do this once a week so that he would feel comfortable when he got rid of his bands, but Naruto only completed the first part of the exercise. 
Be ready to go again boss one of the clones said. Naruto was going to keep sparring until he couldn't move anymore, he was determined to be prepared for all situations. Page Bushin no Jutsu. Poof. The hundred clones surrounded Naruto once again. Sai let's do this then Naruto charged. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
I was just sharpening up my swords. Sharpening, hmm, mused Naruto, how exactly were you doing that? I use a sharpening stone, which I use to grind against the sword, this sharpens and hones the blade the more I grind, is there a reason for these questions? Naruto ignored him and just sat there thinking for a few moments, Naruto decided something and made the seal for a shadow clone, Naruto did this silently, because he was trying to get into the habit of not verbalizing his attacks, well unless, of course he wanted to be dramatic. Goof. The clone appeared in the middle of the shop, but before the smoke even had a chance to dissipate, Naruto punched the copy in the jaw, causing it to dispel. Uh? Ishii, the shop owner, just stood there confused while all this played out, if that will be all, I will just leave you to it, Ishii went back to sharpening his swords. Naruto was too busy getting over the fact that he might finally make some progress in wind manipulation to notice what Ishii did. 00000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
there is only a week and a half left until the third round of the Chunin exams, and Naruto's training was very productive. Pervy Sage told him that they far exceeded what he expected to go over in just one month. Naruto was also coming up with more and more stuff to learn on his own too. He stopped going to Higarishas to buy weights because he figured out how to mimic them with seals and could now increase and decrease the amount of weight the seal was by application of his chakra. He mastered both exercises for fire and wind manipulation, and was working on increasing his proficiency with all corresponding jutsus. When it came to sealing, Jiraiya told him he that he was picking it up faster than his last student, and considering his last student was the fourth Hokage. Naruto decided to take that as a compliment, on a side note, Naruto was finally able to function normally after training with Uraya. he would only be sore for the rest of the day and didn't have to immediately pass out. Naruto did come back to Higarashi a few days after he bought his sealing supplies and he already completed a few deliveries, he has also been delivering explosive tags and sealing scrolls twice every week, Naruto figures that once he was back to doing active missions, he would never be short on money, Naruto visited Hinata a couple more times too and even ran into Hanabi again. Those meetings went exactly as the last ones, ending with both Hayuga's faces red, although for different reasons, he also was learning when to make a strategic exit when someone was gunning for your head. Currently Naruto was warming up in front of Jiraiya, getting ready for their first lesson, it took him a few minutes of nothing happening to realize that his sensei wasn't going to attack him anytime soon, Jiraiya beckoned him over with his hand and gestured for him to sit down. Alright Naruto today I am going to teach you another jutsu, Naruto started jumping up and down in place and was about to verbalize his excitement, Jiraiya cut him off before he could get too far in his celebration, but this one will be a little different kid. Naruto sat back down and stared at his sensei attentively, what do you mean pervy sage? Jiraiya was agitated but decided to ignore the disrespect at the moment, I mean that this jutsu was made by the fourth Hokage himself, who taught it to me, and I in turn will teach it to you. Naruto was looking starry-eyed at his teacher now, what is it? Jiraiya put out his hand out and a spinning massive chakra formed spherically in his palm, the Rasengan. Naruto was mesmerized by the jutsu and cold wait to learn it, Jiraiya reached into a previously unnoticed bag and pulled out two water balloons, he tossed one to Naruto and put the other in his right hand. First step is popping this balloon by spinning the water inside pop now you're not going to get it in your first try, boo. Pop. Ha. Huh. Jiraiya looked over at Naruto and saw him with one wet hand and no balloon. You're right, it took me two tries, Jiraiya didn't know what to say, so he just stood there stammering, I mean after it didn't work the first time I just increased the rotations and bam. Yeah, 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 whatever, beginner's luck, Jiraiya pulled out a rubber ball and threw it at Naruto, try to pop that with just your. Pop. Come on. Really Naruto deadpanned, if there is one thing my chakra has in spades is density and power. Yeah whatever, the last step is combining both steps and then stabilizing it. Naruto tried the last step, but unlike the other ones, he failed miserably, he tried a few more times and didn't get any closer to making anything resembling what his teacher had shown him earlier. Harder than you thought it would be huh? Jiraiya told him, the other two are really just to help with understanding the concept, this step is where you are going to need more than just natural ability and luck, now try that later on your own time, we can start your regular training now. 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Tenton went and got out of a box a stack of mesh shirts that looked around Naruto's size. I think I got some that can fit you, but I'm not 100% sure. That's okay said Naruto, before he started to remove his shirt. W whoa, what are you doing? Said Tenton, her face gaining a pink hue, it's not that she hasn't seen any guy shirtless before, she was just surprised at how suddenly Naruto started stripping. Well I wasn't going to buy them and wait until I get home to find out I can't fit them, so I'm try it on now, don't worry, I will still pay for the one I wear. That's not the problem here. Tenton was more shocked than anything, people normally had more reserve than this in public, Naruto finally got his shirt off, and Tenton's jaw dropped when she saw his upper body, she would have never guessed that the boy wearing a bright orange jumpsuit would have such defined abs and a strong chest underneath it, Naruto put on the mesh clothing. And it didn't help to hide his body, the shirt barely fit and was tight around his lean muscular frame, Tenton had to admit that the buy made for good eye candy. Well look at that, it fits perfect, one would think that it being so tight would make it uncomfortable, but it feels completely fine, thanks Tenton, it'll take the rest of the shirts. Tenton shook her head and continued to do her job, this isn't fair, I get two green weirdos and a uptight jerk, while the useless Binky has three cute guys all on one team, man some people get all the luck. Naruto put his regular shirt back on and paid for his purchases, thanks for the help Tenton. No problem, it was a slow day and I was getting bored, come around anytime you want. 00000000000000000. It was a new day, and Naruto was headed back to the hospital, Jiraiya came to his apartment that morning and told him he had two days to rest before the finals, Naruto was thankful he was finally getting a break, he always felt sore after their training, and that meant a lot considering he had advanced healing. Naruto made his way inside the building and quickly walked to Hinata's room, when he arrived he heard some talking from behind the door and wondered who else was visiting Hinata, strangely enough, he hasn't ran into anybody else all the other times he had been here. Knock knock. Come in. Naruto walked in and saw Hinata sitting on her bed back in her normal attire, Naruto noticed that there was someone else in the room glaring at him and decided to ignore them. Hey Hinata, I see that you are finally getting out, you remember our plans to go to Ichirikus. Hinata blushed a little from embarrassment, why yeah I remember she glanced at the other person in the room for a second. So let's go, right now is the perfect time to go because this is when less people usually come. I'm sorry I can't go, my father requested that I come straight home. Oh well that sucks, this is something that shouldn't be put off, Naruto said disappointingly, then he turned to the other occupant of the room, who had been glaring at him icily the whole time, Naruto just looked at them with a blank look on his face, which just made the person glare harder, the room became quiet. Hinata didn't say anything because she wasn't sure how to settle the atmosphere, the other two just kept looking at each other, it seemed as if the silence would last forever, before Naruto suddenly broke it. Hinata, I think your baby sister might have gotten a few inches taller since I last saw her, Naruto said, Hanabi face immediately twisted into a deathly glare, they grow so fast, don't they? You're just begging to die, aren't you, Hanabi growled out, I suggest you leave before I have to traumatize my littler sister. Huh, little sister? asked Naruto, looking around in exaggeration, whereat. Like a replay of other times, Hanabi jumped at Naruto with plans to have him in pain, and on the she could get to him though, Hinata jumped in the way. Sister, wait. Get out of the way Hinata, seed Hanabi, he practically begged for it after he so boldly flirted with you in front of my face. Whoa, hold up. Fleur. Shut up. No one is speaking to you oaf. Sister, you can't hurt him, he has a match in the Chunin exams in a couple days. Maybe that's something he should have thought of before he disrespected me, as well as you, she turned her eyes to Naruto, now, he'll be lucky to arrive in hearse. Wait, his first match is against Niji. This was finally what got the smaller girl to stand down. Against Niji? Hanabi asked, is that true? She asked Naruto. Yeah, and I'm going to beat him black and blue, until he crawls back to Hinata and apologizes, Naruto answered. Hanabi just stared at Naruto for a few moments before turning around and leaving come on Hinata, father is expecting us. I Naruto, Hinata said while she made her way to the door, I hope we can get Raymond another day. Naruto watched the two sister leave with an unreadable expression on his face, it was only after a few seconds did he finally release a huge breath he had been holding. Man, I seriously thought I was going to die, he whined, what am I retarded? 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
He worked long and hard this past month, he completed training for both of his affinities, mastered countless techniques, exhausted himself every day, all of that for this moment, well kind of, he was doing it to increase his skills to do better in the field, but since he was officially on a month break for the finals, primarily it was for the finals. Naruto woke up two hours before he had to be at the stadium and started getting ready for the day, he put his clothes on, attached his ninja equipment and did a few stretches, Naruto ditched his old clothes for some new threads, something that looked b-e-t-t-e-r which wasn't that hard to do, felt better and lasted better, Naruto was finally ready to go. And he had an hour and 45 minutes left, wanting to psych himself down so he could be in a calm mind, he went to the middle of his floor and started meditating. Naruto stretched his arms and got up, he took a couple steps to orientate himself before he was stabilized. I think that was the best nap that I ever had, he said, rubbing his eyes, maybe there is something to that meditation thing besides focus, I might start doing that every night, Naruto smacked his lips and looked around, I wonder what time it is. Naruto blearily spotted his clock on top of his nightstand, 7.59, almost 8.0 o'clock, man I swear something was happening at that time, he tapped his chin, Naruto walked towards his window and opened it up, he rested his head on the windowsill while he thought, it can't be a Chiricus, they open way earlier than this and I don't think I have any classes with Iro Senen today. Maybe Ishii had a delivery for me to make, but I don't remember that, Naruto notices that the streets of Kanoha are fuller and livelier than they usually are at around this time, I wonder what's up with all these people. They usually are only this festive on my birthday, it seems like they are all headed somewhere, he trails his eyes over the crowds to try and follow where they were going, Naruto saw that the masses all led it to a big stadium in the corner of the village, Naruto stared at the arena for a few seconds with a blank look, then slowly but surely his eyelids started to lift wider and wider. 0000000000000000. If these idiots don't make it in time, I am going to kill them both, growled a pink haired girl with green eyes. Currently, all but two of the participants of the third stage were standing in the center of the arena, the crowd was nearly full and was bursting with excitement, the noise level made it hard for anyone to hear more than just immediately around them, the rest of the genin who got knocked out in previous stages were sitting together in the stands near the front. All of them were there to show support and to be entertained, Sakura Hirano, the only member of Team 7 that didn't make it past the preliminary round, was sitting next to her best friend Ino Yamanaka, she had her fist balled up and had a look of worry written all over her face, the cause of this was because of the fact that the two people who were missing were her teammates. Disqualified before they can even fight, neither of them could stand to go out like that, so what's with them? Sakura moaned. Ino looked towards her friend, then back to the arena, come on Sakura, you just said it yourself, both of them would die before they would miss their fights, they'll be here. I hope Sakura mumbled looking anything but reassured. Those two certainly weren't the only ones to notice the absent of Team 7's Genin. How unyouthful. It seems that my rival has managed to pass on his uncouth ways to his students. Yelled out Guy. I must agree thought Kurenai if Kakashi's students aren't even going to bother to show up, then Kiba's loss in the preliminary will have been for nothing, Kurenai vowed to herself that she would hospitalize Kakashi if his students don't show up, particularly Naruto. I don't really care if they ever show up, if it happens that there is less competition for Shikamaru, then I won't complain, Asuma said with a heavy blow of smoke. Down in the arena Shikamaru was unsettled by the change of events. Shit, if neither Naruto nor Sasuke show up, the chances of me getting that psychopath rises by an uncomfortable amount, I am usually all for less work, but today I would like something to stand in between me and that sand genin, sigh what a drag. So he cold even managed to show up huh, I guess he realized that a failure will always be a failure, fate ordains it, Niji was largely unaffected by the fact that Naruto hasn't shown up, it was just him not having to go through what he assumed would be an easy battle, now the Achiha's non-attendance is a cause for me to think about. I am sure he won't pass up an opportunity to show how lead his clan is, I very much looked forward to putting him in his place. Mother wants the Ichiha's blood, where is he? Thought Gara. he also thought back to when he went to finish killing the green genin and how he was stopped and denied from his desire, I want to kill that blonde boy for myself as well. Hey 8, who is still alive obviously, looked around for the two missing fighters, man the crowd won't be happy if it turns out that the main event will be denied to them, and I kind wanted to see what Naruto could do myself, hey 8 looked at the entrance of the arena, cough will all the competitors clear the floor cough, except Uzumaki Naruto and Hayuganichi, the first fight is about to begin. Cough. The crowd started to quiet down when they saw the floor clearing, but the noise level immediately rose again with questions when they saw the absence of an opponent for the fight. Back in the stands at Indigo haired Hayuga was sitting in worry for the object of her affection, oh no, Naruto is going to be disqualified if he doesn't show up, she didn't want to think about how he would feel if that happened, Naruto-kun, where are you? 
0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000